Rivers always have two crossings in Attila, as shown by the arrows here and here. We shall place our main army as close as possible to one of the crossings. We are not going to separate our army. We don't have the luxury. Also, we move them as close as possible to the uh, crossing point because we are tired from force marching. So our troops will become exhausted if they run uh, for more than 10 seconds. So we want to start as close as possible. And uh, the cavalry is going to try to ford the river. The reason for that is that I want to see what is on the other side. In case of river battles, you cannot see where uh, the enemy has placed his troops. Sometimes it does show, but in this case uh, there was heavy fog and I couldn't see where uh, they have deployed. Now, we have a little bit of luck on our side that the general was completely isolated and happened to be where we deployed. This is total war luck, as I tried to say. That fortune indeed smiles upon the audacious and only the cavalry will ford the river because I'm not sure where the army is and if the general is actually supported by other units. Now, once we kill off their general, that will be of course a moral debuff. We will try to do it with the projectiles which the cavalry brings. and. We are then going to cross the river en masse. So the infantry and our general and the skirmishers shall pull uh, across, clear across the river. Meanwhile, one of our cavalry, the raider cavalry, is going to go around and begin to entice their cavalry to leave the protection of the entire army and charge us in a foolhardy charge. This is fortunate. And I choose the Raider unit because it has the 50% faster movement speed. So it would be able to get out of tricky situations. Uh, why are we fighting over here? The river actually protects one of our flanks. So you can clearly see that the infantry uh, takes uh, one of the flanks is protected by the river bank. So that hook of the river protects one of our flanks completely. And when uh, the enemy is approaching, from the north, the first unit that they see uh, is not the cavalry or the skirmishers which are further south but the infantry. So their dog troops when they release their animals they go for the nearest unit which happens to be heavy infantry. So dogs against heavy infantry, heavy infantry wins. Then they are going to slowly enter so first the cavalry will get mauled. Uh, our Skirmishers are going to do their uh, blessed work of donating the projectiles and that will be from their flank so that will be pretty murderous and we have kept the infantry in a diagonal so that they actually uh, stay busy with our infantry line and our skirmishers can do their work in peace. Once every one of their units are broken up, our cavalry shall go to do the mop up and it will not be efficient because they already start out force march, therefore tired and they'll be exhausted. If they're exhausted, they don't run as fast and do not perform as well. So uh, we won't be able to capture uh, that many of their soldiers. A lot more than I would have wanted would have gotten out. This has been the Strategic Indian signing out.